today we will learn about regression and regression analysis so I hope you have all understood about correlation correlation coefficient and what is the statistical tool called relation used for so similarly we have another statistical tool called regression and let's have a look at what regression is used for so after having established the fact that two variables are closely related we may now be interested in estimating or predicting the value of one variable given the value of the other for example if we know the advertising and sales are correlated we find out the expected amount of sales for a given advertising expenditure or the required amount of expenditure for attaining a given amount of sales similarly if we know that the yield of rice and rainfall are closely related then we may find out the amount of rain required to achieve a certain production figure now what is regression the dictionary meaning I would say regression means going back or stepping down now this technique or this term regression was first used by Sir Francis Galton in the year 1877 while he was studying the relationship between the height of fathers and son so this term was introduced by him in the paper regression towards mediocrity in high, uh, hereditary stature his study of height about 1000 fathers and sons re revealed a very interesting relationship that is tall fathers tend to have tall sons and short fathers tend to have short sons but the average height of the sons of a group of tall fathers is less than that of the fathers and the average height of the sons of a group of short fathers is greater than that of the fathers so the line describing the tendency to regress or going back was called by Galton a regression line now the term is still used to describe that the line drawn for a group of points to represent trend present but it's no longer necessarily carries the original implication of stepping back that Galton intended so now these days there is a growing tendency of modern writers to use the term estimating line instead of regression line because this formula or this regression the concept is now idly used for estimating or predicting the unknown variable now let's move on to the definition or the modern definition as we might say regression analysis attempts to establish the nature of the relationship between variable that is to study the functional relationship between variables and thereby provide a mechanism for prediction or forecasting so by now you might be you might have an idea that why we use regression analysis so regression analysis is mainly used for predicting or forecasting now before moving on to the regression coefficient we will have to study about what is an independent variable and what is a dependent variable so let's have a look at that now the independent variable is usually denoted by x but at times it can it can also change this x is just a variable okay but in usual uh, problems or in usual examples the independent variable is denoted by x now what is an independent variable the variable which is used to predict the variable of interest is called an independent variable or explanatory variable so independent variable x is nothing but a variable that helps us to predict the unknown variable now let's have a look at what is dependent variable now dependent variable is usually denoted by y and the variable that we are trying to predict is called the dependent variable or explained variable so here x is independent variable and it is used for predicting or it helps us to predict the unknown variable whereas y is the dependent variable and and y is the one we are going to predict with the help of the independent variable so it's simple as that now to put it in a more simpler way I would like to quote an example the example which we just quoted when we started off with regression what was that yes it was something regarding the um, advertisement and the sales so 
For example, if we are estimating uh, the sales of a product from the figures on the advertising expenditures, here we are estimating sales, estimating or predicting a certain variable. So sales here is the yes dependent variable, which is the unknown variable. So how do we predict sales? Yeah, by with the help of the independent variable x. Now in this case, which is the independent variable? Yes, the expenditures that we have done on advertising. So this is just for an example to know what is x and what is y. But um, see, in a real life application or when we deal with regression in real life situations, uh, there may not be any casual connection between these two uh, factors in the sense that the changes in advertising expenditures can cause changes in the sales, but it's not necessary. Okay. In fact, it might eff be affected with a lot of other variables also. But for the time being, let's consider only these two variables. So as I said, we are only considering uh, two variables and one is, um, one is the independent and the other one is a dependent variable. So one helps us in predicting the unknown variable also. So a scenario like this, uh, if we encounter a scenario like this in a regression, it is called a simple linear regression analysis. So why is it called a simple linear regression analysis? Because there is only one predictor or an independent variable. That is the one reason. The other reason is that we assume that there exists a linear relationship between the dependent and the independent variable. That is, we assume that there exists a relationship between the x and y. So, now the term linear means that there is an equation of a straight line of the form y is equal to a plus bx where a and b are constants and it is used to describe the average relationship between the two variables. Now there are two regression lines. When we have two variables, if we take x and y as two variables, we will have two regression lines. One being regression y on x and the other regression of x on y. Now let's uh, have a look at what is regression of y on x. The regression lines of y on x gives the most probable values of y for the given values of x. So in this scenario we will be given the values of x and by using a formula we will get the values for y. But what happens here? when it is regression of x on y, the regression lines of x on y gives the most probable values of x for the given values of y. So right now here y helps us in predicting the values of x. So that is the scenario of regression of x on y. So either this or that can be asked or either this or that can come as a case study. Now certain interpretations or certain uh, norms that we should know. When there is a either perfect positive or negative correlation, I hope you know about the perps perfect positive and negative correlation which we have uh, learned in the last class. Uh, what is it? It is a scenario when your R, the correlation coefficient becomes plus or minus one. So if a scenario like that appears, then the regression lines coincide. So if the regression line coincide, then we can say that we will have only one line. Okay, so what does that mean? What does that indicate? Yes, it is X and Y are perfectly correlated. So uh, it could be negative or it could be positive depending upon the values or the case. Now, farther the regression lines from each other, the lesser the degree of correlation. That is what we have to infer from this. And if the two lines are nearer to each other, then it will, uh, then there will exist a higher degree of correlation between the two random variables x and y. The only thing is that the line you get will be a straight line. Now linear regression, we can uh, move on to 
the formulas or formation of uh, mathematical representation of what line of regression of x on y is. Now here x is a dependent variable in this case line of regression of x on y and y is an independent variable and it is given by x minus x bar is equal to bxy y minus y bar so here bxy is nothing but your so you know r is what r is your correlation coefficient similarly bxy is the yeah regression coefficient you guessed it now here bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y okay and how do you find bxy this is the formula bxy is equal to the correlation coefficient r multiplied by sigma x divided by sigma y so sigma x is nothing but the standard deviation of x and divided by the standard deviation of y which is equal to what n into i have expanded this formula that's all that is this is uh, covariance and this is the standard deviation so that's it and now line of regression of y on x line of regression of y on x you have here y as the dependent variable and x as the independent variable and it is given by y minus y bar is equal to b by x x minus x bar and here b by x is the regression coefficient of what y on x and again you get a formula over here how to find b y x so b y x is also regression coefficient but it's y on x okay and the formula is given by r into sigma y divided by sigma x which is equal to the formula okay i hope you all understood the basics of regression analysis the ideology behind reg regression analysis so this is just an introductory part i hope all of you have understood the class thank you